Hi folks, it's Brendan here again and I've been talking to you about how to make an instant impact in your training and the training of your clients and your athletes. So today I want to talk to you about one of the biggest things that makes Singler the most different in my opinion and that is very simply the concept of coaching. So we've all been in these situations where you see people running boot camps or they train on their own and they're just not doing the right things. They might have a great idea, the principles that they're following are fine, but they're just not doing the right things in the training uh, from a coaching perspective. And it's such a simple intervention to, to change this, to get the productivity and the functional development from that exercise or that training session or whatever it may be. And I, I, I would put, I would estimate with a good coach you can gain minimum 10 to 20 percent more from your training maybe even more depending on how you respond to it so we look at that and we think well 10 percent as a minimum more in every single session that is a different thing altogether that's that's masses down the line cumulative incremental gains but what is good coaching and how can you implement that well i think a couple of things that that spring to mind for me personally and in my own development, mistakes that I've made here. I think number one is coaching is not about us as coaches, it's about them. And so whatever we do, we've got to understand that each person in front of us is different and they respond like they have their own likes and dislikes, they have their own values and beliefs and, and everything in between. So our goal as coaches is really balancing what that client needs with what they enjoy or what they think they need or what they think that they want to do. And we've got to find somewhere in the middle and there's that kind of little bit in the middle that I call the synergy, the synergy there, where you can, you know you've got the buy-in, you know you've engaged and excited your client with the training, with the exercise, with what you're going to be doing. And that's really cool and that is where you should be. Okay, because if we do it how we want to do, what we what we like to do, if we like we, we like squatting and everybody gets squats, well that's not right, that's not the synergy. That's what we like to do. And if we do it right down here, with what the client or the athlete likes, then we might not get the results that we need. So in the middle, you've got to find that synergistic area where they're buzzing and we are and everything's getting done right and they're engaged and they're excited. And that's cool. So that's number one. The second thing is coaching is about facilitating. It's not about giving answers. So very often I see coaches and trainers just giving their clients masses of like, do this, do this, don't do that. Turn your foot this way, turn your head up this way. And I kind of think, well, that's fine. But one, can that client comprehend those 33 things that they've just been given? And two, long term, are they getting anything out of it? They've just been given the answers. So what we've got to do as coaches is to, say, is to say less, but choose our words carefully. One or two cues per exercise. And as a rule of thumb, I'd say, if you've given one or two cues in between sets or during a set, and they still don't get it right, then you've either chosen too, too complicated an exercise, or the weight is too heavy. In which case, you've got to regress the exercise or you've got to lighten the load because they can't manage that. So one or two things. And here's another thing about coaching. We've got to try and build them into people who can solve problems themselves. Really, we're trying to build people who don't even need us. But yet, we know they'll always come back to us because of the motivation and that extra 10%. So there's no, there's no threat there from a, from a kind of client retention perspective. I think that great coaches will always be busy people because everybody wants to train with them. The phone will be ringing. The word will spread. So less is more in your coaching as well. And we need to, we need, we need to develop people who can solve problems on their own, especially when you're talking about athletes here. That's what sport is. It's problem solving. If we give them all the answers, we're doing them a disservice. So less is more. 
uh, facilitate their development. And coaching makes the difference, guys. And this is really what's developed my own coaching, just understanding these principles that it's not about me, it's about them. And they've got to, about, they've got to enjoy it and buy in and engage in the session. And we've got to get something out of it from a, a results perspective as well. So come on, let's think about coaching. How can you tweak your approach? Do you say too much? Uh, do you give everybody the answers? Are you doing what you want to do, not what they want to do or what they need to do? And are you balancing that off? And, is, and are your sessions exciting and are they engaging for that person? All right, so a few key questions for you to answer and think about with your own training, guys. Thanks for listening. I'll be back with another way to make an impact very soon.